Hello everybody and welcome back to Dragon Wing Diamonds. I am here today with my month in review and this is for the month of February. Um, in the month of February, I did complete five paintings, which I was not expecting to be able to do, but I did. I don't know how. Don't ask me. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let's just dive right in. Just grab my log book here. So our first painting, I started back in January and carried over to February because, you know, it's perfect Valentine's Day kit. Where are you? Okay, there we go. So first kit we have here is The Love Bard by Rosie Scribbles. This is the canvas that made me absolutely fall in love with her artwork. And now I think I have all but one of them currently. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, this is a 20, is that a five or an eight? 25.6 by 32.7 inch or a 65 by 83 centimeter. It is a square diamond painting and this one had a whopping 97 colors. There were five ABs and two fairy dusts and man, the specials in this were absolutely phenomenal. Um, all the white that you see on here is fairy dust and it just, it really creates a nice effect with the shimmer. I started this one on January 17th and I finished it on February 5th. <clears throat> um, yeah, and then this was finish number six for the year and finish number 57 for overall. So I'm gonna move on to the next. Stay, okay. Up next we have the absolutely adorable Little Dragon's Galaxy. I had a look because I've said the name like five different times throughout working on it. <laughs> so yeah, we have Little Dragon's Galaxy. This is a 28 by 24 inch and it is a round diamond painting. This is from Sheena Pike, or it's from the artist Sheena Pike and it is a Craftably kit. Unfortunately, um, Craftably did say that they are closing their doors. So if you wanna get this kit, rush right over because I believe it's still available on their website. But this kit was absolutely amazing to work on. There were 67 colors in it. And I didn't write down how many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ABs. One, two, three, four crystals and two specialty drills, which are these absolutely adorable stars. We got that one there. And then we got the little silver one here. So I started this canvas on February 1st and I finished it February 16th. Um, took a little bit longer than I was anticipating because there was more confetti in it than I was prepared for. Um, I feel like all of like, obviously all the dragon, you can, you can probably see the confetti, but honestly the only bit of color blocking is like in the wings here and up at the top there. So yeah, was not prepared for that, but I did enjoy working on this canvas and it looks absolutely stunning. I worked on this canvas for Lunar New Year DP 24, which was hosted by Elisa over at Mink Arts and Crafts. And, I was, and of course, this is my February dragon. Decided to go with this one because, you know, it's very cute. And just feel, it just gave me Valentine's Day vibes. Okay. Because I was working on a bunch of canvases with these heavy darks in blue or heavy dark colors and blues and purples, I needed something a little pick me up. And this was actually one of my, what I would consider one of my rainy day kits. Um, so this is Letting Go by Puffy Gator. Um, it's a Diamond Art Club canvas, and it is a 17.7 .7 by 18.4 inch or a 45.1 centimeter by 46.8 centimeter. Um, this canvas had 39 colors in it. We got three ABs and three fairy dust. Lots of fairy dust in this one. Like, I think the purple fairy dust was my favorite to work with. We got this very light purple. It was just, I got all twisted. Okay, but that, yeah, that was just so amazing to work with. And yeah, I, just, I love fairy dust diamonds. <laughs> so I started this one on February 6th and finished it February 22nd. Um, and I also put this one under the event tag of Lunar New Year DP because it is a tiger and Year of the Tiger is one of the Zodiac animals. So. Up next, we have, okay, make sure I stay on focus. Okay, we have Snowy Deer. This is a canvas from Swartz Designs and the artist is uh, M. Lednova Art. 
It is a 50 by 60 centimeter canvas. This is a square, um, first square I did from Swartz Designs. And this one had 42 colors with one AB. That one AB of course is in the snow here. So it really makes the snow pop a little bit more. Um, once again, this canvas was a lot more confetti than I was anticipating, especially up in the trees and down here with like, it definitely pays off because the shadows look absolutely fantastic, but I just was not prepared. So after working on this one and after working on the dragon one that were all confetti heavy, of course I needed a break with the, <laughs> the color blocky puffy gator. But I absolutely love this canvas. It is so beautiful and just like when you see it stepped back and looking at it through the screen and stuff like that, it just, it really shows the amount of depth that's in it. Um, and let's see, I started this one February 4th, or February 1st. <laughs> and I finished it February 24th. And I did this one for the Love for All Seasons DP. So of course it was under the, the winter. Okay, last but not least. Oh yeah, I haven't been saying where I was at. Okay, so the Snowy Deer was finished nine for the year and finished number 60 overall. Woo! Okay, guys, I'm gonna get to 100 this year. If I can do 40 more painting, I might be able to. We'll see. Okay, so up next, after all of that, I was doing a lot of squares, <laughs> as you can see. I decided I need a round, I need a snack size, I need something that's gonna work up quick. So I pulled out In Cat Nido, and this is from the artist Pixie Sticks. Absolutely adorable, <laughs> I just love it. <laughs> this is a 13 by 13 inch or a 32.8 by 32.8 centimeter. It is a round and there are 37 colors in it, including three ABs and one fairy dust. Um, the fairy dust is, is this one right? Looks like it. The fairy dust is this like teal in there, absolutely stunning. And as you can see, the white AB just really makes things pop. And then of course we got the other ABs in the, the leaves themselves. This kit worked up so quick. I started it on February 24th and I finished it on February 25th. Very quick canvas and exactly what I needed. Um, I didn't do this one for any event in particular. I just decided I wanted to work on something small and cute. And so here we are. And I'm just noticing how intricate the detail is with the, the, the shadowing. That is amazing. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Things you don't notice until you're looking at it later on. <laughs> So yeah, this one was finish number 10 for the year. And overall it's 61. So there we go. We have our kits for the month of February. So what does March look like? Um, I'm not gonna do these in any particular order, but up first, let's do this one. Up first, I have this absolutely beautiful canvas from Muni Made and Femke Debra. Um, this is Deity of Life and I posted my unboxing of it not too long ago so it should be fresh in your mind. But this canvas absolutely stole my heart because it just I look at it and it's me and my daughter 100%. So I will be working on this canvas for uh, Crafting with Shay and the Diamond Painting Accountants event Mermaids and Magic and I've literally been saving this one for the last year to do mermaids and magic so I'm very excited that I'm gonna get to bust it out gonna have to I still have to take my start photo but I am looking so forward to working on this kit and I'm so excited to be taking part in mermaids and magic for the second year in a row for me um, trying to decide where I want to put stuff okay up next was kind of like an impulse kit up I'm slowly tracking on her. So we have here the absolutely stunning Jellyfish Mermaid by Jam Jamaica Murphy. I think I've been saying her name wrong this whole time. Also known as Jamushka. And this is a kit that is available in the mystery box. And I'm so happy that I was lucky enough to get it. Um, as you can see, I haven't gotten very far on it. I've only just gotten this row and then this little bit done so far but I am slowly working on this one. I'm not rushing it. I'm just enjoying the process essentially, but it's absolutely beautiful. And even though I'm still dealing with dark colors right now, moving in over here with all these colors, I mean, there's so much confetti over here with all the color changes, but it's absolutely beautiful. 
and I'm looking forward to seeing more of it completed. I don't know if this one will be completed this month. I'm just, like I said, I'm slowly working at it, but I'm just, like, I'm just enjoying the process with this one. Okay. Stay. Okay. Up next is the one that I have been working on pretty actively this last couple days here. Um, I am working on this one, which is, is it focusing? And we're on this one that is Rebirth Awaits by Raven Falan. I absolutely love her artwork. And for this one, I actually ordered the enhancement pack from DP with Sparklers. So I've been working with that. And I'm sure you guys can just already see the sparkle down here. I feel like down here I've barely used any of the actual drills that came with the canvas. But yeah, it looks absolutely stunning though. I love the fact that all the ABs were added to those colors and the tail. And I just, I'm really excited to continue working my way up. This is the first time that I have worked with the sparklers for squares. So they are rounds that are on here. And I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about that. But I think it's creating a very nice effect. I think it looks absolutely amazing. And you really can't tell that there's, circle, there's uh, rounds on here. They also have a couple of uh, saw it, quad cubes in here as well. So working with those. Um, yeah, I think this, um, the enhancement pack came with like 18 drill swaps for it. So absolutely amazing. And I'm just, I'm having a blast working and um, just doing these drill swaps. Okay. And as you can see, I'm, or as you saw, I was part of, part of the way in a section there. Up next. <laughs> I did not get much d progress done on this one. And I blame unhinged conversations for that. If you know, you know. Um, anyways, this is Empress. This is the canvas I am working on for my own event. Um, oh yeah, I'm also doing DD of Life for women who sparkle. I forgot about that one. Um, anyways, this is one I'm doing for my own event, Stoke Your Dragonfire. If you don't know what that is, definitely um, pop there's a, I have an announcement video on here. I have information up on Instagram. Um, just take a look. I got all the information out there now. But this is what the one I'm working on. This is Empress. And I started this when I was on my live. So I, this is all I got done so far. <laughs> Although part of the problem, apparently I have really oily elbows. And I put down my elbow on the canvas. And then baby wipes her course are in my daughter's room. So I had to wait until I remembered when she, a point she was awake to actually go and get these. But here we are. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna finish this section of black color blocking at some point. I'm probably actually gonna do all the black first down here and then work my way through the dragon. We'll see. But this is my canvas for my own event, Stoke Your Dragon Fire. And it's just absolutely beautiful. I'm so excited. And yeah, I'm, and this will be also be my March dragon. Okay. Up next, I'm sure you guys are going to be very excited to see this. Oh, going to do a twofer. Oh, bam. Okay, so up next we have my cross-stitch comparison project. Um, so yeah, this is what I've got finished so far. So basically what I'm doing is two rows of this one to one row of this one. So I have four rows complete here to two rows here. It is so much fun seeing the difference. <laughs> like it's... Interesting, like the the detail, like the amount of detail you get in this one versus this one, of course, you're gonna get more because it's bigger. But just the fact like the shaping and stuff, you're able to, like that's being kept and it's just, it's just really fun, honestly, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm absolutely having a blast with this one. Um, I spent a couple of nights just working on these. I just, <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, um... But yeah, this is this is the where we're at right now. Um, I'm planning on doing a check-in video once I hit 20%. Um, I think right now, I think I might be about halfway there, or just under halfway there. So yeah, we'll get you'll get a check-in video here soon. But it's just so fun watching this come together and seeing the differences between the two of them. Okay, so that's it. That's all my whips. <laughs> I have a lot right now, a lot more than I usually do, but it's fine because I will work through them. And this is a special project on its own, so that, yeah. 
so yeah, that's it. Um, so is there anything else? I don't think so. Yep. So that's it for this video. Um, let me know what did your February look like? What kits did you work on? Did you finish any kits? I know I'm crazy fast, so I, I know people don't keep up with me generally, but yeah, just let me know what have you been working on and stuff. And, um, yeah, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed here and you like diamond painting content, go ahead and hit that little subscribe button down there and then hit that bell to be notified whenever I post new videos. Generally open chats go up on Wednesdays, but other things like small shop hauls, unboxings, those are more random. So you definitely want to hit that bell to be notified whenever I post new videos. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.